Marine layer appears it won't be going away anytime soon, but nevertheless, we've got baseball from Petco Park. Opening day is here as we get the new season underway with a good matchup. Blake Snell gets the call to pitch here on opening day in front of the hometown crowd. Dan Pleszak, what do you got? You know, the key for Blake Snell is getting him out on that mound every five days. He's had some injuries over the course of his career, but there's no doubting the stuff. He's another guy, upper 90s fastball, good curveball. His slider's gotten a lot better, and he'll mix in an occasional changeup. This guy has a chance to be a dynamic pitcher every time he takes the mound. Christian Walker is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. A very fine afternoon for baseball. 67 degrees here at first pitch. Bases are empty. One man out. And he fouls this one off. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. First pitch on its way. David Peralta is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. So one, two, three go the Diamondbacks. And now the Padres get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. And now, Ricky Henderson. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Marte is right there, and it's a very quick out number one. So next to bat will be Tony Gwynn. First offering on its way. Hold high in the air out to right field. Calhoun is underneath this one. And that's out number two. That is cool. Digging in now for that's San Diego. Down. Fernando that's Tatis that's Jr. Prior history in this matchup. Yeah. Just a couple of matchups. No hits in two at bats. All one for and he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. This one's down to third. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Runner at first following the error. And next it'll be the fleet-footed first baseman, Fred McGriff. From the stretch. Skied down the left field line. Tatis leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. In the air down the line in left. After it is Peralta. And he makes the catch in the corner. All set for the start of the inning. That will bring up the infielder to tell Marte. Fouled away. The wind up and the 0 1. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. Popped him up. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. That is good. The second Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. As Dribble Cabrera swings and misses there, so he's down 0 1. And now a swing and a miss by Cabrera as he falls behind. No balls and two strikes. Boy, so far early into this one, this guy's pitching really well. And I'm a big believer in body language. He's getting the ball. He's working really quick, keeping the ball down to the zone. And if you take a look at this guy so far early on, a lot of positive signs. He looks like he brought his good stuff in this one. Eduardo Escobar is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Drives it out to deep right center field. Right fielder giving chase. And a long run, but he's there to track it down. Nice. Now at the plate here is Manny Machado as they'll have five six and seven here to start the home half of the second. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. See you later over the wall a home run. Well after a 
long winter and a grueling spring. Everyone is anxious to get the season started, but to start it off with a home run? That There's no good. better way to get your campaign underway. He was what rounding was the bases thinking, hey, this is going to be a good year. And that's through for a hit. Sometimes you got to tip your cap. The pitcher spotted his pitch down that the zone tough. right there below the knee. Offensive player was all over it. Into the box now, Mike Piazza. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Looking up is the center fielder. A leap at the wall, but he can't bring this one back. It's a home run. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. And the hit will be Trent Grisham. In the center field, line drive base hit. They've gotten their hits in deep counts. They've gotten their hits in up. early counts. No this has been a real onslaught. Yeah, you can look at it one of two yeah. ways, Matty. Either they have a ton of respect for the man on the mound, and they are just going to ambush tactics, and it seems to work for them. Or you can look at it the other way. They're just getting lucky. Stepping in now, Blake Snell lifted down the line and left. And they can't run it down. Three runs already home here. To Cabrera for one on the first. So they let the pitcher swing away here and it turns into a double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And next it'll be the outfielder, Ricky Henderson. He grounds it sharply to third. Ahmed has it. Throw in time and the side is retired. Paul Calhoun will stand in now. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off to third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. And the Diamondbacks have their first hit of the game. Carson Kelly as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here. Capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Calhoun gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Popped him up. Tatis is under it. Makes the play one away. Now to the plate the pitcher. Zach Gallon from the stretch. Pops up the bunt attempt. McGriff is there and he'll bring this one in. The He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Nick Ahmed will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a cold strike. It's nothing in one. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. And another throw oh, over. Throw is up the line as it gets away. Two out here and a runner at second. And he falls behind 0-2. On 0-2 here, he doesn't have to get in with it. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. One left for the Dodgers. Bottom of the inning now, and next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Tony Gwynn. For me, this is an important add-on. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. And this will kick off the base of the wall. And the Friars are in business to start the inning here. It's a leadoff triple. You take a look at this one as it flies into the gap. Both outfielders give it a chase, but they can't catch up to it. Next thing you know, it one hops the wall, and he's busting his hump around second on his way to third. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Peralta going back. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And the run will cross on the sack fly and make it a 4-0 game. Now First Next to hit, Fred McGriff flew out last time up. 
almost Matty, almost went deep his last AB, certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Ahmed takes charge out there, and he stays with it for the second out. Now to the plate here is Roberto Alomar. Roberto Alomar. First pitch on the way. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Peralta is under it, and that will end the inning. New inning set to get underway, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Christian Walker. Mine to the right side, and that'll get down for a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch, and it's early trouble here this half of the inning. In now, David Peralta. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Called strike 0 and 2. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. So he throws him for the strikeout. David Peralta goes down to become the first out here in the fourth. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. Still no balls and two strikes. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. Popped him up. Machado is there. Two down. So two are gone now in the, the Diamondbacks' batter. fourth, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Drupal Cabrera. Ball one to start the at-bat. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Grisham makes the catch to end the inning. One left for Arizona. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next will be the speed threat. Mike Piazza. First pitch coming. Here it is. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. And that is off the wall. The throw is wild and it gets away. Hey, there's a bullet off the wall. The outfielder does a really good job of getting that one in quickly. But I think they had play there at second base. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there, Dan. I, I, I got to believe you're busting it out of the box, thinking two until somebody tells you no. I know it would have been a close play, but I think you got to err on the aggressive side right there. And Cabrera will take this one for the first out. So now into the box is Blake Snell. He could be bunting here in order to stay out of the double play. Swing and a liner. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. The relay. Throw won't get him. Up next to the hockey. The left fielder. Ricky. Henderson. At the plate now, Ricky Henderson. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Sends it out to left field. Well hit. It'll die on the warning track as the catch is made. And here comes the runner from third. And they'll add another as this is now a 5 nothing game. Next here is Tony Gwynn. He made it to third on a triple in his previous appearance. Yeah, guys, that was the first triple. In and this is knocked down over there. Uh, we'll have to leave it there as the play is made for the third out. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. First pitch on its way. Eduardo Escobar is in to start things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. That's not really where you want to miss right there. I know this guy has got power stuff, but you can't live in the middle of the plate against this lineup and expect to have success. Fouled off. 0 oh 2, here it comes. Now the 
fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. I always like watching pitchers that attack with their fastballs until now there's a reason to start mixing it up. He hasn't needed many of the secondary pitches so far on this one, and there was another good fastball for a strike out there. Calhoun, a native of Arizona, he was an eighth round selection back in the 2010 first year player draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. So he punches him out and looking at the fastball. Cole Calhoun goes down for out number two in the top half. Yeah, I'm not sure what the game plan is today. Too many early swings. They got to be a little bit more patient at the plate. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. Here's the first pitch to him. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. He gets under it and makes the catch in the deep part of the field. Now it'll be Fred McGriff. He's working on a one for two game so far. Pitch on the way. Swing and a liner. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Hey guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his that's second knock of the game. Key. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking we really avoided the rules. Here's Manny Machado now. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Going back is the center fielder, and this one is gone. A home run. That's why you got to pay attention in the on deck circle. He was calibrating his heater right there, checking out the off speed stuff, and he didn't wait around. First time he's seeing him. Now, this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back to back jacks. Shot here to left. First home run of the campaign for him as they've widened this lead to eight now. In the job description of reliever, there's no mention of back to back homers, but there is a need for a short memory. We'll see if he can put those two bombs behind him. Now batting, catcher to the Mike. plate now, Mike Piazza. Piazza. Base hit, line drive into the corner, and now it'll rattle up against the wall. And he'll pull into second with one away. Hey, guys, I think the pitcher was just trying to steal a strike right there. I do not think he expected to get ambushed on an oh, oh, get me over breaking ball. But that's exactly what happened. Runner breaks for third. In there. Now the throw. And he is in there. Oh, this kind of goes against those unwritten rules of baseball. They're leading big, so there's really no reason for them to steal third right there. And I'm not sure that was taken too kindly in the opposing dugout. Skied in the air to straightaway left. After it is Peralta. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. They get 9 nothing. Riley Smith gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Number 46. On a line, that's a base hit. He's around first, heading for two. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Number 24, Ricky Henderson. So now to the plate, Ricky Henderson. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. Well, when a manager talks about hitting being contagious, that is exactly what we're talking about. One guy tees off, and the guy behind him starts to feel a little now bit that, more confident, a little bit more focused. Tony. The next thing you know, you've got Win. three home runs in an inning, and your entire offense is off and running. He'll get it into second. And that is where the wheels pay off as he's able to make it into second with a hustle double. That's your stop. What a nice piece of hitting right there. Didn't try and do too much. 
stayed on the attack, kept his hands inside the ball, and took it. Meanwhile, here, the throw to third is not in time, and he's in there safely. How about that for making something happen? First, he rips a double. Then on the very next pitch, he swipes third, just showing what kind of offensive weapon he can be. And that's through into center field, base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Hey, that's not a bad first milestone. 100th career RBI, Nero. Yeah, after your first original knockdown, probably for you, your first strikeout, your first bomb. You want to start putting some zeros on the back end. High in the air, carrying well out to deep center. Center fielder looking up. Go! Well, the balls are flying out of here faster than they can throw them across the plate, it seems. That's four home runs in this inning alone. It's times like this when pitchers wonder if maybe they've chosen the wrong profession. Their pitching coaches start wondering, too. And in steps Manny Machado as he swings and grounds it toward the hole. And that's in there for a base hit, his third hit of the game. So he delivers with two away, and the bottom of the fifth march is on. Up next, yeah, that hard hit single right there. The that's clean. Base. Three for four. four He's looking locked in. Into the box now, Roberto Alomar hit back up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Now have the catcher. Into the box, Mike Piazza. Now both runners on the move. Not in time. And how about that for Daring? It's a two out double steal. Machado at third. Alomar at second with two gone. This one's down to third. Reined in. And it's in time at first. And Halo. Hello, Perdomo. will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. Halfway to 100 pitches. Here it is. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. The 0 1. Ah, he just ramps up and gears the fastball by him. 0 and 2. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Got it. Three. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ballgame. Up next for Arizona, Nick Ahmed. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Oh, and that one swung through the strike zone that time at 98. 0 and 1. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Boy, and they cannot touch him right now. Five straight strikeouts on the ledger, and there are two away. Now that he's just ringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Man, this has been a game filled of a lot of swings and misses. Not very many confident swings. And this team up there, they'd swing at a buck. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the Bottom of the sixth inning on its way. But Ladies first, here's Heidi Watney. Stefan Crichton gets the call. To first pitch coming. Here it is. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Marte is right there, one down. Up next. Now to the plate, Ozzie Smith three. will grab a bat hit for the pitcher Marte. here. Number one, Ozzie. First pitch on its way. 
bouncer to the left side. Med fields it cleanly. And there are two away now. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Ricky Henderson is working on a one for three thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. On the line, that's a base hit into left field. So he picks on the first pitch here and is able to extend the inning. Absolutely scorched that base hit. Worthy of some show track love, and as you see it, it came off the bat at 110 miles an hour. That's definitely squaring a ball up. At the plate, Tony Gwynn hit hard back up the middle. Ahmed to his left. He's got it. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. Perhaps a period. Trevor Hoffman comes on to pitch from the bullpen now in an unexpected move. He's their closer, so it's a surprise to see him here in the seventh. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. That pitch was so slow it barely registered on the radar gun. Yeah, Matt, we don't see too many pitches no crawling to the plate like that, especially these days. That can be a really tough pitch for a hitter to wait back on. The 0 2 pitch popped up. Piazza shading to his right, one away. So here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona. Patel Marte has been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. One ball, no strikes to count. And that's one waved and at and missed one and one. In the air to straightaway right. Gwynn is there. Two down. Now that first pitch on the way as Dribble Cabrera stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. Big swing and a miss at the fastball and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. Aggressive swings out of him to start this at bat, but he hasn't been able to put the ball in play. Time to use that aggressiveness and make him chase now. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Diamondbacks down in. Now at the plate, Fernando Tatis Jr. His career numbers against this pitcher. He's one for two. First pitch of the AB now. Timing just to take off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Hit to short. Close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number now one. First baseman. Now to bat, Fred McGriff. And he's coming off a two run homer his last time around. He's set and the pitch. Hard hit to the left side, but taken in out there at short. And they are wearing him out down there. Two away now. Manny Machado stands in looking for home run number three right here, as you see what he's done so far in this one. On the line, that's a base hit in the left field. Didn't waste any time, like the first pitch he saw to keep the inning going. That base hit was screaming off the bat, and our show track technology more than confirms it. 111 miles an hour was the exit velocity of that line drive. Standing in now, Roberto Alomar. Line drive base hit. That base hit was screaming off the bat, and our show track technology more than confirms it. 111 miles. An hour was the exit velocity of that line drive. At the plate now, Mike Piazza. That's a strike to throw down. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead, but he made it work out. That was really impressive. The 0 1 on its way. Lifted in the air to center. Long run for the center fielder, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Now, a good throw in will hold that second runner at third base, so they're at the corners now with two away. Yohan Lopez comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Stepping in now, Trent Grisham. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point.
hoping to limit the damage. Here's the pitch. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Marte retreats to the track and he'll put this one away. Ready to begin the eighth and standing in is the veteran third baseman Eduardo Escobar. No balls in one strike. Behind 0 and 2 now. And he struck him out. So he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. You hear that phrase climb the ladder all the time. And that's pretty much what he did right there. When you change the hitter's eye level with each pitch and that at bat, it becomes very hard for him to adjust and put the bat on the ball. He made that strikeout look real easy. First pitch on the way. Carson Kelly is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. And it's fouled away. And another foul ball. No runs, two hits, and one error in the ball game for Arizona. And he fouls this one off. Nope, Shooting for that low inside corner, but he missed with it. One and two. Just hung in there on that one. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. So one. So here now is the pitcher, Trevor Hoffman. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Swing and a liner. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And now it'll kick around in the corner. When you've got the pitcher leading off an inning, you have to feel pretty confident about getting the first out without much problems. But the pitcher with a bat in his hands had other ideas. Put some solid wood on it and found himself on second with the leadoff double. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Now a leaping effort at the wall, but he comes up empty. This one is gone. Home run. So batting practice continues here today as they notch their seventh home now run that, of the game. Oh, Manny B, no, this has turned into a lopsided one here. How about this, D Row? Seventh home run of this game alone. This is crazy. They knew coming in they had the lineup to do damage, but this is getting absolutely out of hand right now. This guy is missing over the heart of the plate. Now this man. trend could Not continue. So now here is Fernando Tatis Jr. Lifetime versus this pitcher. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. First pitch coming, here it is. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. As we head toward a conclusion in this one, I think it's fair to say that it's going to be a long time before you see a team perform like this again at the plate. Getty, here's a fly ball, well hit. Peralta going back. And it's gone as they add still another. Almost can't believe I'm saying this, but that was the eighth home run of the game for these guys. How about this offensive performance? Is this a live baseball game or are they taking batting practice right now? Hero. Somebody help oh. me out. This is one of those zero where they say hey, it's good weather for a snowman, right? That eight spot looks like it's snowman in the scorebook. Eight bombs so far in this game alone. Great. Tyler Clippard will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Dalton Varsho will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. The 0 2 delivery. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Marte is there now and he has it two gone. So now a guy making a lot of noise in this one. Manny Machado. He's got his sights set on a five hit ball game here. This is skied into short left center. Here comes Peralta. He gets there to make the catch and that ends the inning. The batter will be Dalton Varsho starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. A ball and two strikes now. Here comes the one-two. Fouled away. 
Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two and a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Nick Ahmed is at the plate now. He's quickly behind 0 and 1. He's staring a hat trick in the face right now after that swing. He has just got to find a way to zone up a little bit more. You cannot expect to make solid contact chasing stuff outside the zone. Another 0 and 2 coming. Fouled off. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0 2 count. Peter caught too much of the zone. Got him to go down swinging there. Nick Ahmed is retired, and now they're down to their final out in this one. Christian Walker stands in as he can't connect here. 0 and 1 in front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. And it's fouled away. You're grinding so hard at the plate right there, expecting something on the corners, and what happens? Change up, middle cut. Your eyes light up, but you're just not able to barrel it up. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. 18 to nothing the final this afternoon. The Padres took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Blake Snell earns his first win of the season, permitting only two hits.